let's understand the concept of aliases alias allows you to give your table or a column a temporary name and the entire purpose of that is to make sure that column names are readable very often the data is coming from different systems like sap oracle csv and the tables are not named in a very user friendly manner it might be named as co01v e dot name or something on those lines and it does you don't really understand what that column means right what that data means so you use aliases so that the code becomes readable the tables become readable now one thing to point out is that these are temporary names you're not actually changing the names of the columns and the temporary names or the aliases will exist only for the duration of that query so for example we have a table here uh, we have three records first a column is employee id second is e dot name third is city dot name let's say if you wanted e dot name to be called as employee underscore name and city dot name to be called as city all you would do is you would say select e dot name as now as is the keyword you use to set an alias so you say select e dot name as employee underscore name comma city dot name as city from customer when you do that the table looks like this employee id employee underscore name and city again this is temporary you're not actually changing the names of the column this when you look at this you understand what the context of the data is so use it and make sure that your data or your code is readable now let's take a look at this with the help of a demo i have run the select star statement from customers to see the entire data now let's say i want to call customer id as id and i want to call name as customer name so i would use alias and alias is remember the keyword to use in alias is as so what i would do is i would remove this and i would type select customer id as id comma name as customer underscore name from customer and let's run this command so when i run this command remember this is only temporarily changing the columns of this particular table it's actually not modifying the name permanently so let's run this command and see what we get so when i run this command i get select id underscore and customer underscore name now if i want to run select star from customer let's erase this let's control x look at this the names still stay the same customer id is still called customer id it is not changed to id name is still name it is not changed to customer name so remember when i use this command it is only temporarily calling customer id as id and only temporarily calling name as customer name and there you go that's how aliases work in mysql